Hello and welcome to this video. There are two things that I want to talk about today. First of all, the LEGO Education Spec Essential set was officially announced. And secondly, the Spike Prime app or the Spike app, which can be used to program Spike Prime and Spike Essential, was updated. So that's what I want to talk about today. And first to the LEGO Education Spike Essential set. It's now officially announced, so we got official pictures. This is the set. The parts are sorted by color and not by type, which I find interesting. And the set includes one hub, one color sensor, the light matrix, and two, two small angular motors. I really like this picture because it shows all of the technical things that are included into the, or in the set. But keep in mind that the hub only has two ports for powered up devices, so you can only use two of the four devices at once. The set will also include minifigures. That's something that I thought we do 2.0, which this will replace most likely was missing. So that's fine or that's nice. They also got personalities, but I'm not sure how important that is. And yeah, there are a few pictures for models. The price in the United States is 247 US dollars. For Europe, I think it should be around 310 euros. But that's something that we will have to see. There's much documentation here. I will link everything that I will talk about in this video in the description as well. And you can get the parts individually. So you can get the hub individually, the matrix, the motor, and the minifigures, and all the other stuff. We got the hub. I, s I already told you that it got two ports, two port up ports, one USB plug to connect to the computer and to charge the rechargeable battery, and a button to turn it on and to get into pairing mode, and a light. It also includes a 6-axis gyroscope, but let's talk about the specs later. The price for the hub alone, including the rechargeable battery, is $190. The light matrix costs $35. And the small angular motor costs $35 as well. And there are also these minifigures, which cost $2, which I think is pretty cheap for minifigures but they are not very detailed. They don't have printed bodies and stuff like that. So this might be a deal if you're interested in minifigures or maybe not, that's up to you to decide. And now we've got, or we can get to the interesting stuff and that's the technical specifications because for the LEGO education pro products, we get technical specifications and they include some more details. So the hub, will feature Bluetooth, low energy, and normal Bluetooth, I think. It will connect to up to four Bluetooth low energy devices and one Bluetooth connection to compatible wireless components. I think that they mean Bluetooth Classic, classic with this one, similar to Spike Prime. Then we've got uh, RGB LED, and the firmware can be updated according to this sheet. According to the FAQ, it will only be updatable through USB, so I'm not sure about that. But uh, they list it here as wirelessly updatable. It contains a 6-axis gyroscope, which the normal LEGO Technic Hub and the large LEGO Technic Hub include as well. The operating system is based on MicroPython, but you won't be able to download the programs to the hub, so it will be streaming mode in the Powered Up app only. And you won't be able to write Python programs for this hub with the Spike app, but only Scratch programs or programs in a Vidu 2.0 similar software or environment that we will talk about later in this video. There's also information about the power supply, the size, the wide, and the system in general if you're interested in that. Again, I will link all of the documents in the description. There's also the documentation for the RGB matrix or the color matrix 
I don't think that they are really interesting. And there's information on the new motor, which is a bit more detailed. We also get a voltage range from 3.3 volts to 6 volts, which is pretty low, I think, because the port up system can have up to 9 volts. So I'm not sure if this is some kind of mistake or if the hubs will adjust the voltage automatically. It will also include a rotation sensor, similar to the other angular motors, and it has a marked zero position. So let's get to the spike app. That got an update, and now you can select your set on the beginning, either the spike essential set, which is based on system bricks mostly, or the spike prime set, which is which mostly uses technic parts. And here we get more information on all of the hardware. We can get into lessons. And we can get to the building instructions. Keep in mind that these building instructions are designed to be built by kids or children in the first to fourth grade. And they've only got 45 minutes for the complete lesson. So these builds aren't very complicated. Don't expect anything fancy because that's simply not possible in the time frame that these sets are designed for. You will also get new wheels in this size, which I think is interesting. You already get medium and large wheels in that type, but you will get small ones as well. And now let's get to the coding part because now there's a new coding style. These we do 2.0 or powered up app like blocks. They're a bit more limited compared to powered up because we can't input stuff into these values. They can only have constant inputs. So we can react to stuff. We can react to distances and stuff like that. You probably already know that from powered up or we do. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You can't do much stuff with it, but you can use this environment without having to read stuff. Also, you can add additional blocks, which you can find here. And this coding style works with both the Spike Prime Kit and the Spike Essential Kit. So I can change to Spike Essential and I can use that as well. The Scratch environment will be available for Spec Essential as well, but you won't be able to use Python. And the programs can only be streamed to the Spike Essential Hub. You can't download them to the Hub, similar to Spec Prime, so you can't run them locally. I hope that Pybricks will support this Hub so that we will be able to store programs on the Hub, but that's something that we will have to see in the future. Now let me open another project. So now we've got a light, or with light we get blocks to access the matrix and here for spec prime you can either select the internal matrix or the external one and then you can either use the 3x3 three three grid or the 5x5 five five grid but that was it for this video or for the new stuff in this app and for the spec essential set you can check these things out on your own if you're very interested in that I hope that all of this stuff will be supported in the Mindstorms app and in the Powered Up app as well in the future. But the Powered Up app is still lacking support for the uh, color sensor and for the distance sensor from Mindstorms and Spec Prime. So we will have to wait and see. But that was it for this video for now. Thanks for watching. What do you think about the set? Please tell me in the comments and are you interested in the set? And what do you think about the price? I think that it's pretty steep compared to the possibilities with the set, but see you in the next video and bye!